the first visit to the anatomy theatre, the first visit to the physiology lab, the first time that you appear for the biochemistry practicals that would never come again in your life ever. So be grateful, be humble and make the most of every single day of your life as an undergrad student. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Anushka and today in this video of mine, I'll be sharing with you what are the tips, the strategies and guidance that I would like to give to all the first year MBBA students who just entered the fraternity. So this video of mine dedicated to all the first year MBBA students, I decided to discuss under four subheadings. Number one, why in the first place did I decide to shoot this video? Number two, what are the books I might have read while I was in my first year of MBBS? Number three, what is the strategy or the attitude that you should be having as a first year MBBS undergrad? And what is the final pro tip? Now, why did I decide to shoot the video in the first place? I think there can be two answers to that. Number one, I believe when I was in my first year of MBBS, being the first doctor in the family, I didn't really have anybody to guide me through the process. So I feel that with this video of mine, I would be sharing with you where I went wrong and what I realized after I graduated so that you don't commit the same mistakes as I did. And secondly, because of all the requests that I was getting from the first year med students or should I say the would-be doctors, I intend to discuss with you the pros and cons while having a picture of every single subject with topics and the book recommendations that I followed on the screen so that you can take a screenshot of it while you're listening to what I believe my views are on every single book. So the books that I, have, I am going to recommend would be based on the books that I followed and that I was recommended by my seniors. But if you live in a different part of the country, books that you would be recommended by your seniors and by your professors might be different. Don't think that they are clashing because all the books that are in the market are written by esteemed professors and are equally good. Anatomy, the textbooks that I used to follow were BDC and AKD. BDC has really amazing illustrations and AKD is the book where the explanations are decently elaborate. So I used to stick to both of them. Next for osteology, Dotto's Osteology was the book that I used to follow. Then for embryology and histology, as well as for neuroanatomy, Indarvi Singh is a very standard book. I also would suggest you to buy another book for clinical and surgical anatomy, which might be of help as well. Next, it is always recommended for you to buy an atlas for yourself, which would help you not only in your first years, but also while you are in your final year going through the surgical subject. So I personally bought Netter's Atlas and I still do have it with me. Special mention while I'm discussing anatomy is the student's edition of Grey's Anatomy, though I didn't buy it myself, but I have quite a few friends of mine who bought the book and who are benefited out of it. Now for physiology, I used to follow Debashish Pramanik sir's book, but also foreign books like Guyton and Hall and Ganong's are equally popular and I did see quite a few professors recommending the foreign books for reference as well. For biochemistry now, I again tried to stick to Indian authors like Vasudevan and foreign books that were available that I saw my friends study from were Harper's and Lippincott. Coming to the third segment, what are the four strategies or changes in attitude that you must have in my opinion while you're entering in your first year of MBBS? Number one, attend lectures but not just for the sake of it. Attend lectures, read books because you have to be a better doctor and you want to have that skill, that knowledge empowering you throughout. Number two, avoid unnecessary competition. No matter how much you try, you would always feel that you're not good enough. But if you have the attitude that you're ambitious, that you are working hard and whatever hard work you're putting is, it is enough, then you'll be satisfied, you'll be content, you'll be at peace and you'll be happy. The next advice that I would give to you would be more like an elder sister. Don't forget 
to hold on to your passion. I know that you got into this profession and you aim to be a doctor, but that necessarily does not mean that you need to have a very boring life. Another very, very important suggestion that I would give would be to not follow anyone blindly. And that includes me as well. And last, but definitely not the least, medicine is a lifestyle. Being a doctor is not a profession. It is a way of life. Try and make ward visits to understand the reality of life and be grateful, be humble and be happy. Make the most of the most amazing days of your undergraduation. I hope you already know the drill. So don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. I'm putting in a lot of effort to make the videos informative, entertaining and fun to watch.